The labour movement has this motto, jobs are the best form of welfare. I agree fully with you, but we must expect jobs to change over time. New technologies and more productive ways of doing things will happen and existing jobs will be made obsolete. But new jobs will be created and these will be more productive and higher value added jobs. And that's why in our Forward Singapore review, we are studying how we can invest more in every worker to help them take ownership of their own careers, to continually reskill and upskill, and to take up better jobs and opportunities throughout their working lives. We've been working on this for some time under Skills Future, but we will shift Skills Future to higher gear and make skills training and lifelong learning a key pillar of our refreshed compact with every worker. We will pay special attention to those in vocational and technical roles, and especially our ITE and Polytechnic graduates. We will help them deepen their skills through different pathways so they can secure better salaries and career paths in the professions they have trained for and have the aptitude for. Take the example of Brother Dixon Tong. I think he's here with us today in this room. I met Brother Dixon recently. He has been working at Hitachi as a lift technician for the past 25 years. And throughout this period, he has been continually honing his skills to excel in his profession. Recently, he took up a work-study diploma program. It was not easy for him to go back to work, to school after more than 20 years while working at the same time. But with hard work and determination, he attained his diploma and was promoted to a supervisory role in the company. Dixon received the Model Worker Award last year and has been nominated for the Comrade of Labour Award this year. Congratulations, Dixon. PMEs too will have to reskill and upskill themselves, especially with rapid technological advancements. For example, look at what's happening in AI, artificial intelligence. Some of you may have used ChatGPT. I asked ChatGPT, what should I say in my May Day rally speech? It didn't give me a good answer, so I had to write my speech myself. But in time to come, the AI algorithms will only get better and more versatile. And ChatGPT is just one application of AI. Many more are on the way. Integrating new technologies like AI into our work will bring sweeping changes, including for highly trained workers. We must expect more human tasks to be taken over by machines. So some existing skills will no longer be so useful, but new skills will be needed. And that's why we must continually reskill and upskill. One example is Madam Amina Muhammad La. She is someone who has taken the plunge to learn new IT skills. After 20 years working in administrative roles like finance and procurement, she enrolled in a nine-month program to learn about coding, data science, and data visualization. Something completely new for her. And she struggled with it initially. But fortunately, her children were also taking up courses in computing and data science at the same time. So she could discuss and get some help from them. This is the circle of life. When we are children, we learn from our parents. As we get older, the young ones will teach us. And so through her hard work, she has now embarked on a new career as a business analyst at one of our banks. Well done, Amina. Dixon and Amina are both inspiring examples. We salute them for their passion in lifelong learning. 
We want many more workers to follow their lead. But we also know that it is very hard to juggle work and family responsibilities while studying at the same time. So we will reduce the cost and lower the barriers to training. We will work closely with NTUC and all of you as our key partners in, endeav in this endeavour and support every worker in your journey of lifelong learning. 